We are back with a talented father and daughter on and off screen. George Lopez is a stand-up comedy legend. His wildly <laughs> popular namesake show aired for six seasons in the early 2000s. And his daughter Mayan is an actor and producer who got her start at Second City Improv in Chicago. And now they are together again in the NBC sitcom Lopez vs. Lopez. It's inspired by their real-life relationship. And this season they are navigating George's emotions during his newfound sobriety. True, don't eat that! Jordan, you giant rat! <laughs> oh, gotta let it go. A hot dog that is meant for me will simply find me. <laughs> this show is so funny. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. Good morning. So the first season, Maya, was super successful. We're now picking up in season two. So what can we expect this season? Well, just as you see, the Lopez family has to let go of quite a few <laughs> things as George is now in his sobriety journey. And so the family is kind of having to change around them. There's a lot of twists, a lot of love. And... As always, we just put the try to put the fun and dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> the fun and dysfunction. George, talk to us a little bit about this. This is semi-inspired, I read, by your real-life relationship yeah, uh, with alcohol. Semi. Yeah. Well, my relationship with alcohol. Yes, I've I've loved alcohol for a long time, and I miss it more in the mornings. But um, I think based on trying to get sober and be more, you know, better for my better for mm. my family, better for my health, that. Uh, it makes a great a great arc for this season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people are struggling with that. Thing. Mm -hmm. Well, how how difficult was it to you know walk that line because mm -hmm. it's a serious topic but you know there's there's obviously humor in everything well i, I believe that in the stories you know and, and, and with comedy the good part and all the sitcoms that people really love are the ones that can mix you know some real serious stuff when then immediately go into mm. into the joke so mine's great at uh, both and i'm really good at uh, allowing people to look into my life and then mm -hmm. Hit him with the last call. When's the last call? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, your, the? You've got a lot of great guest stars yes. uh, coming up. You, you're calling it the uh, the Lopez Cinematic Universe. Yes, the LCU. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Red, Red, Red. No, we've just been so incredibly lucky to have so incredible guest stars. This week we had Cheech Marin last season, mm. but now this season we get Cheech and Sean. Oh, oh that's in this episode at eight on Tuesday, and also Marshawn Lynch, and we have some. Oh, that's Fun. Incredible guest stars. We had Gabriel Iglesias in our premiere, and you know, something that I'm going to keep a little bit of a secret. Okay. But, uh, All right. All right. And, hi and, hi and highly functional, both Cheech and Chong. So I, I believe oh, if you're God. not using marijuana, you're wasting your life. <laughs> we had Cheech here last week. Oh, we That's did. Right. He, was we did. Here. he was just, he was just. Yeah, here. he's awesome. Uh, Mine, you've talked about how important it is for you to separate yourself from your character who you've nickname Schmayan. Yes, sitcom <laughs> Mayan, or else it just gets like very the line. confusing. I'm like, Schmayan. who am I anymore? Yeah. Um, no, I think it's, you know, something, it's playing Maya is very close to real life, and some things are really real. I think that's what mm -hmm. makes Lopez versus Lopez so great is that it really is, sometimes we're having conversations that we haven't had with each other, and we're having it in front of a live studio audience mm -hmm. where it brings up real things, but I think that authenticity and that truth makes the comedy so much more successful. Mm -hmm. But, you know, on set, sometimes it'll be like, Mayan, you read that line a little bit angry, and I'm like, oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that later. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, so. that's good. I'll tell you, it's a lot more charming than it looked in the court documents. <laughs> oh, goodness well, before, before, goodness gracious. I know I'm from Kansas. It comes out sometimes. Uh, before, before you leave us, you were a judge on one of your favorite shows, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. What is it about the show that you love? You know, I think their bravery, drag queens, and just their artistry, like, has always inspired me to be vulnerable mm. in my real life. That show um, has made me laugh. It's made me cry. It's given me really wonderful life lessons. One queen, Kylie Sony Glove, said, don't let your hurt child make your grown-up decisions. Oh, wait, say that again. Like, don't let your hurt child make your grown-up decisions. Ooh. And just, you know, I worked with father, <laughs> and now I got to work with mother. Like, <laughs> RuPaul, the queen yeah. of drag. But, you know, just even that, hearing that, like, completely changed Sorry. the way that I you think that now you know i think that was before lopez versus lopez and i think that helped inspire me that show can uh, like and the community helps mm -hmm. inspire me so you just made chanel's day because she, well, yes. she loves a good show that's a good one Keep that for yourself yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Kansas too I, I know we're out of time but George, real quick your children's book oh yes. 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 That's something you said you wish you had as a child i wish i did these are great stories of friendship doesn't matter where you come from the nuclear family or whoever you are uh those those books are fun for kids to read and and uh, if i had them when i was a kid maybe i wouldn't 
I have my that. hair so long and yeah, I kind of feel like <laughs> you need like a hair contract. Like, this is your hair is like. So we were calling him Alberto Einstein. Oh, <laughs> Alberto <laughs> Einstein. Oh, you guys look, are so fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You can Alberto. catch Lopez versus Lopez on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on NBC <laughs> and streaming the next day on Peacock. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.